हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर फ्यूल इंजेक्शन नोजल असेंबली सीरीज ओके इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस असेंबली एंड दिस इज द कैप ओके दिस कैप हेयर ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सोलिड वर्कस आई विल क्लिक ऑन इंसर्ट न्यू पार्ट and let's name it cap open this part uh select front plane sketch draw a center line like this since this is also a revolved uh, revolved part uh we are not going to have much trouble here okay these are uh, totally basic dimensions so let's model it right away this is vertical okay okay so the radius is 22 610 okay 22 6 and the complete length is 35 okay this is tangent okay we still have to see okay this is diameter 22 here twenty two uh these are collinear okay the internal dia is fifteen into one point two five okay uh let's make it 13.75 uh this outer diameter here doesn't matter much okay but uh, uh, the dimension is given so let's use this dimension 38 okay uh go to features revolved base okay select this as axis click okay uh now for the second feature we have to make these cuts uh, these are for so uh, that you can uh, you know uh, screw this uh, cap okay not screw this cap but actually tighten this cap with uh, a spanner okay these are cuts for that so let's uh select this face sketch convert okay i converted this uh, outer edge into a sketch uh draw a profile like this here a center line okay select all of these okay these three lines and create a symmetric relation if i'm right this is 20 mm okay so let's make this damage 20 okay uh make these line tangent now 
go to features extruded cut reverse the direction and uh, through all click ok uh, now we have to add threads here also uh, this is m15 into 1.25 okay uh, but uh, you can see that this is only uh, until 10 okay and this is a blind thread these are blind threads up to 10 mm uh, and through this uh, hole there is a uh, 15 mm hole okay in the rest area so uh, i will select this face and create a sketch here 15 mm uh, go to extruded cut select this face okay now see uh, there is a offset of 10 mm click ok now let's add cosmetic threads here from this face blind 10 mm ok uh, 15 mm click ok okay so uh, this part is modeled here let's save it uh, let's go back to our assembly let's make this float and I will move it here uh, we will assemble them later first uh, I will model all the necessary parts okay so uh, we have modeled the second part we have to select the third part which we are going to model let's see okay this cap nut let's make this cap nut now uh, this doesn't look very difficult part uh, just like the cap okay this is basically a revolved profile you can see this is basically a revolved profile okay so I will click on insert new part let's name it cap nut front plane sketch uh, create a center line Uh, create a profile like this make these coincident okay now we just have to dimension it okay 10 32 okay thirty two. 10 mm okay the outer dia is 22 and uh, this is 13.75 because this is m15 tapping here okay uh, this is 15 uh, let me see okay this is up to 13 and then 19 okay this is 13 and this is 19 okay everything looks good now uh, create a revolved feature now we have to add uh, threads here I will use cosmetic thread uh, select this face this edge this face okay uh, blind 13 okay let's see if something is uh, left okay there is a flat here okay but this is written wrong here 14 mm spanner uh, let's see this should be 20 here also I will select this face sketch normal to 
uh, create a center rectangle like this uh, make this edge tangent and uh, 20 okay and uh, the depth uh, we have to assume it ourselves let's say 10 mm is too much let's we have to assume it mm, 10 mm is okay oh, uh, one thing more we have to flip side to cut okay let's save this part okay we have three parts now uh, we have to see which will be our next part let's see mm, which is the easier here okay this spindle this looks like nothing not much work this is just a cylinder with a, a 2 mm hole here okay so let's create a part here wall spindle open part our top plane sketch the dimension is uh, 5 into 50 5 mm extrude it uh, 50 mm okay top plane sketch create a 2 mm hole here uh, extrude cut 3 mm reverse the direction click ok and this part is done uh, there was uh, there is there was not much uh, in this part so uh, let's save this part let's go back to our assembly and float okay we have four parts here we have to see which will be our next part okay there is a washer also but this is not a very important part but let's uh, you know keep moving like this okay we still have to make the spring cap nut also okay mm, okay let's make the spring cap nut first insert new part let's name it spring cap nut front pane sketch okay uh, this is going to be a revolved part also just like uh, our previous parts let's see okay we have to assume some dimensions here okay because this is not given here how much is this this is m15 okay uh, so let's create a center line let's make this coincident on origin okay the complete length is okay 26 12 two dimension at a time this is 12 and uh, this is 26 okay and uh, this is 19 in
the hole is m6 tapping okay uh, in m6 tapping the hole is uh, done for 5 mm so let's make it 5 okay the top face has a dia of 11 okay Okay, we don't have this dimension here. Okay, this one. Uh, this is not given here. But you can see that this is a little more than this 19 here. Okay, so let's assume this to be, let's say, 21. Okay. And uh, this is 15 mm here. This is 15 because you can see that this is a tapping here. I'm 15 into 1.25. Okay. Uh, revolve this part. Uh, now we have to create the tap this th these threads. Uh, select uh, cosmetic thread. Uh, this edge, this face, 13.75, and up to next click OK let's see okay this looks okay uh, and uh, there is a cut for spanner 10 mm okay let's make a cut here Okay, I selected wrong face. Convert this face. Okay. Uh, let's make these tangent. Ten mm. Uh, create a diagonal like this, and uh, make the center point of this diagonal the origin. Okay. Now select extruded cut and up to this face. Okay, so this spring cap nut is also modeled. Let's save it. Let's make this transparent so that we can move these parts okay uh, now for the next part uh, we have modeled nearly five parts if i'm right okay and uh, how many parts we have modeled this one one two three four five now let's model this washer okay and this is not a very big part so we will not have much problem select top plane sketch the outer die is 22 and id is 15 to mm okay mm and this part is done and uh, uh, this part is uh, as per modeling very simple but uh, these are uh, these washers are very important part of these assemblies okay let's make this float and move this okay so uh, we have modeled six parts uh, washer is done. We have modeled all these parts here. Okay, 
so all the parts left here are these okay okay so let's make this nozzle valve here now okay uh, click on insert new part nozzle valve uh, keep in mind that in bottom up design approach uh, the order of these parts doesn't matter that which one you create first or later because there are no actual references in these parts uh, you remember that in our steam stop valve drawing uh, I blocked a lot of external references but in this case we don't need to do that okay so uh, 27 is the whole length okay select front plane sketch a center line like this okay now draw a line here like this the let's draw the profile okay okay this is something like this except the dimension part we are going to make the dimensions this is 27 okay uh, this is 4 mm and 90 degree okay okay and uh, this is two two okay this will automatically be two will be two because this will be a you know isosceles triangle here 45 45 two sides will be equal and the diameter is two four sorry so it will automatically be two and let's make this two mm Okay, these moves a lot inside let's move these outside and select all of these and create a collinear relation okay select these here and uh, let's see okay uh, there is a collinear relation here also Uh, this is 2 into 3 okay the, the spindle we modeled is going to be fit here okay ten mm Two five five, okay. Two five and uh, wait a second, uh, this is also five. Now, uh, let's revolve this. okay so nozzle valve is all also modeled let's save this part okay 
okay so let's see which is the next part uh, we have a nozzle body cups spring and pressure adjusting screw nut okay so let's make nozzle body now okay this part is going to be a little tough here because you can see uh, there is a groove here okay and the shape has to be suit according to the wall okay and one more thing ring groove here okay so let's create a new part here nozzle body open this part select front plane sketch create a center line 19 mm okay 6 13 okay let's make some basic shape here so that we just have to more uh, dimension it later this is 13 mm and uh, this is 19 6 okay the angle is 45 okay uh, the hole here is for the spray okay uh, let's assume it to be 1 mm okay the inner dia 6 mm this tire here okay uh, 10 mm yeah 10 mm uh, let's revolve this Okay, we have to make the ring grooves. Okay, uh, select this face, sketch. Now create two circles like this. Mm. Okay, the center is at 4.5 and uh, the ring groove dimensions are not given here we have to assume it okay this is what I was talking about that whatever we are going to assume it it is going to be uh, you know keeping in mind the proportions let's first make this um, okay this uh, hole these holes for the oil okay so uh, let's let's discard this sketch uh, select front plane sketch cross section view okay now draw a line like this okay uh, this is actually inclined but since uh, the uh, no dimension is given uh, you cannot assume it okay uh, we will then just need to ad adjust it but let's see if we can try doing it by assuming let's remove the vertical relation and 
create a first create a center line angle let's make it 2 degree okay this is 4.5 okay and uh, this is 1 let's make this coincident here okay okay uh, this is uh, keep in mind that this is for the hole okay this hole is for the uh, oil okay uh, the dia for the holes here is mm, 1.25 okay so we have to if no dimension is given we have to make it exactly uh, like for the other parts okay but since uh, this part is very small okay and uh, no dimension is given let's assume it is 1 mm okay i will select circular profile and one in cut sweep and select this as path click ok now select this face sketch we have to now make the ring grooves let me show you these grooves here ok we have to uh, make these but uh, these are actually uh, keeping in mind the uh, let me show you these okay keeping in mind th these here okay so uh, let's make a circle here and the diameter is 9 and uh, convert it into uh, construction here then select offset entities uh, 1.25 by 2 bidirectional okay and uh, how much is the depth for the groove not given so let's assume it to be 1 mm okay let's save this part I forgot to check if there is any tapping in this part okay there is no tapping here uh, we have only uh, one two three four parts left okay uh, let's move back to our assembly okay the next part is the cups okay these are for spring okay diameter 7.5 cups 2 okay uh, let's name this part cup open this part let me check the dimensions select front plane sketch 6 4 there is a color 1.5 5 7.5 this is a fully defined part okay we can just uh, uh, make this by revolving Okay, this is 10 mm this is 5 this is 7.5 this is 4 okay the whole length is 6 and the 
color is 1.5 mm let's revolve it and this part is done let's save it Okay, this is two times, so let's drag it again. Uh, uh, I hold it down the control key and drag the part from part feature tree and uh, it created a new copy. So I have two cups here. Okay, the next part is the spring. Okay, and then pressure adjusting screw. Let's make the spring here. Uh, insert component new part spring okay the pitch circle dia for the spring is the wire diameter is uh, 5 and uh, the okay the coil is 5 mm and the pitch diameter is 8 okay mm, there is something uh, the coil diameter written here 5 is wrong because the pitch itself is 2.5 so uh, this is written wrong here this coil diameter 5 okay so ignore this we have to uh, model keeping in this mind okay so 8 11 11 is the outer diameter and 8 is the id so the y diameter will be 1.5 okay maybe the author wanted to write 1.5 and accidentally wrote 5 mm so let's create a circle here eight mm Uh, features curves helix and spiral okay the length is 17 we are going to make it more than 17 let's say 25 um, change it to height and pitch and let's it make let's make it 25 okay the pitch is 2.5 okay uh, click okay wait uh, I forgot to check the start angle make this zero it doesn't make any difference here if you ask me uh, select uh, right plane sketch and uh, create a uh, center line like this select the end point of center line and this helix and create a pierce relation and uh, not here but uh, to the lower part okay Now create a circle here. The diameter is uh, 1.5. Okay. The pitch is 2.5. Okay. Now go to features, swapped bow space. First, I had to. Okay. Select swapped bow space. Select this as profile and uh, this as the path click ok let's hide our helix select front plane sketch uh, create a rectangle and uh, the height 
for the rectangle is 17 okay features extruded cut flip side to cut through all both okay those so spring is also modeled uh, let's save this part let's move it a little away like this okay so uh, the only two parts left are the pressure adjusting screw and nut okay uh, these are you know uh, used with each other like uh, this will be like a collar and there is a slot here for the screwdriver so you can uh, use a screwdriver to adjust the pressure okay so this is not a very difficult part okay we can but this is not available in SOLIDWORKS design okay design uh, toolbox so let's model it uh, I will create a new part pressure adjusting screw the screw is nothing but a cylinder of uh, 6 mm tapping okay First it's uh, 5 mm and then 6, 1.5, okay. So let's make it by revolve. Select front plane, sketch. Create a center line like this. Okay, so a profile like this the whole length is 28 and uh, step is 1.5 this dia is 6 mm okay we can add this step later okay this is not very important here This is 5 mm. The depth is 5, okay. Let's revolve this. Uh, for the uh, you know this uh, slot for screwdriver we have to make a step here but before that let's make this M6 okay we have to add cosmetic threads from this face ISO uh, M6 uh, it automatically selected up to next okay Okay, maybe this made it to whole length. We don't want this for complete length. It should be blind. Uh, start from this face. And uh, it is 23 mm, okay. 23 mm, okay. Uh, now, select chamfer and uh, select this edge 1.5 uh, let's make an angle of 15 clip direction click ok select this face edit now select center point rectangle ok center rectangle and create a rectangle like this make this 
okay and extrude cut it around uh, 1 mm okay so this is for our uh, you know screwdriver this slot let's save this part okay so we uh, we only have one part left after that we are going to start the assembly and this is the nut okay uh, m6 is a if i'm right m6 is a common standard let's check if the design toolbox has it iso nuts hex nut uh, 4034 M6 oh, we have M6 here so no need to design this part okay so we have all the parts we needed now uh, we have to start the assembly uh, and this uh, in next part we are going to assemble all these parts uh, okay and explain how it works okay so uh, this is the end of second part of this video tutorial of this uh, fuel injection nozzle if you like this video please give me a like and please share this video with your friends colleagues and please subscribe to my channel okay if you have any uh, query any uh, problem with this uh, drawing understanding uh, you can uh, write to us in comment section or message us in our facebook uh, page or our whatsapp group okay uh, thank you for watching this video tutorial and have a nice day